good evening all of you and it gives me an immense pleasure to be present here to share some of my ideas on these startups i know that there is no one here in the crowd who doesn't know what is a startup they all know because we have been using from the foodies to the movies through netflix and then amazon and to the hotel booking and to the drones which we have heard we all know that uh, it's all the era of startups but having said this one let me remind the crowd and then panelists my co panelists here that uh, infosys which we call which we have seen that it's a multi billion company at one time it was also a startup by mr narayan murthy from iits and then every company has to have an entrepreneur to become an entrepreneur or enterprise every one has to have the first step and then that step is the the toughest step for the, a startup to really incubate into a a business enterprise having said this one let me just touch upon a few points that uh, i just wanted to give my opinion about the startups startups are not limited to metros sir new age startups are not again limited to the metros startups do not have boundaries this is seamless the one idea can change the world and one idea has been changing the world so now, therefore there is no boundary to a startup that is they belong to a metro or a rural or even a village it is just now we have heard that a 10th class boy can really have a 10th class girl can really have absolutely a, an idea which can change the world to having said this one just i just wanted to not taking too much of a time we all have suffered covid 19 and it was a time which the entire world has really been hit very hard and people were hiding in the rooms but there was one girl there was one girl who belonged to second year electrical engineering who did not want to go home who did not want to go home and then she created an app on the mobile i am not taking her name i am not taking the institution from where she has done it i was the director at that time also she has created an app on the mobile connecting all the doctors all the hospitals all the hospitals having the vacancies in icus and with the oxygen supply she has even connected all the ambulances and the drivers and makeshift ambulances to the extent that she did not even leave the uh, mortuaries also right and then crematoriums also she did not even leave them so you now overnight her app became and she became in an icon in dakshin kannada okay so now one doesn't need to have an education one doesn't need to really have again a skill it is the the grit it is the ambition it is the perseverance with which one wants to think different stand different take the responsibility often what happens is that uh, the people misunderstand that responsibility is to identify a problem a startup is not to identify the problem startups are the ones who give us the solution they stand tall and give us the solution a startup can really become an, an enterprise and then an, an entrepreneur and then become a very big enterprise that's what i the example which i gave as the infosys and then uh, another example which i can give you is that two wife and husbands together they started as the tuition teachers and then today byju's byju's is the one of the biggest startups or the companies established in education sector and then i think 3.5 million people have really registered and then 550 million people have registered in that one and then it is today there in five countries so now there is no boundary there is no limit to a startup and we all have to really appreciate the idea the startup companies are the people have and let us all give a big hand to all those who really inculcate the idea of trying to start a startup let us encourage them